Mother's Day, every woman who had little bundles of joy's favorite time of year. Finally, the day the whole family, fathers, everyone together, and celebrates the woman who put everyone else before her own, now gets a day of breakfast in bed, balloons, flowers, endless massages to prep her to get right back to work the next day. But that's okay, because it's all worth it for the love of their family and the fact that they get one day to feel special means the world to them. Or is it? Mother's Day is a special day to many, but in reality, many mothers hate that day and they are taking to TikTok to tell men we hate it because of you. Mother's Day. Some of you won't understand this. I hate Mother's Day. Okay, I'm kind of about to call out all men. I was just at the grocery store and it is filled with moms that are doing the grocery shopping just as an escape and a little bit of me time and dad's buying last minute flowers. I just happen to be a mother who hates Mother's Day. I hate Mother's Day and I'm gonna let my kids spend it at their dad's house. I want somebody else to plan these things. Okay, so not all of those were how many of you would put it, man-hating posts. I like to think of them as critiquing the effort their significant others put in for this one day to celebrate the woman that pushed out a five to 10 pound mass through their vaginal cavity. I got very interested in this topic because I'm a child-free woman and I always thought that women loved Mother's Day, but oh, did I find out differently. Women are literally crying it out and lip syncing their frustration. I just wanted you to know this is me trying. Yo, this is not a filter. Those are real makeup streaks going down them cheeks. So I found there's a multitude of reasons why women absolutely hate Mother's Day and I broke it down to four different categories. One, they lost their mom. Two, they lost their child. Two very reasonable reasons to hate Mother's Day and very sad, so I don't even wanna talk about those. Kinda of keeping this lighthearted and constructive criticism. I don't know how to constructively criticize someone losing someone. And I don't recommend doing that, it's kinda of sad. Number three, their mom is toxic and why the fuck would they celebrate them? Or, and the most reoccurring one, their husband or boyfriend, baby father, whatever you wanna call them. The question is, do toxic moms deserve happy Mother's Day? An incredibly large chunk of my trauma came from my addict, alcoholic, mentally ill mother who tragically died when I was like 19. Since then I've become a mother, but it's still hard for me to see Mother's Day in relationships. <laughs> now that was a lot of damage. Having to tell my mom happy Mother's Day and I love you after enduring years of her mental abuse and having trauma, flashbacks all day. There are a lot of men and women who hate Mother's Day because many women think just because they birth a child, they should be celebrated when not all moms deserve the label of a good mom. Let's be real, there are deadbeat dads and deadbeat mamas. And many have just cut off their mom. But when Mother's Day comes around, they are expected to send the annoying, Happy Mother's Day text to a woman who really wasn't even there or traumatized them. All right, people who cut off their moms, this goes for dads too, anyone. Let's just play bingo real quick. Just for a second, come on, it's fun. Let's see if anyone has on their bingo card, but she brought you into this world. You, all of you, okay, what about, but that's family and family has to stick together. Yep, yep, we've heard that. My absolute favorite have to be Honor your mother and father. God said to you. Mother's Day is here again and many large corporations have sent opt out of Mother's Day notices. So as not to upset people who might become triggered. They say perhaps for the memory of their loving mother who's passed on. Or maybe it's for those whose mothers abused and exploited them, leaving them scarred physically and emotionally. Of these, many remain confused as to the biblical command to honor our parents. How do you do that? I cut them off and I say, thank you, Jesus. This section resonated with me because I can't relate to having to cut off a toxic mom, but that can't be said for my good old pop. And when I tell people my dad is literally dying alone and none of the kids are gonna go live with him and help him out or even visit him, sounds very sad, I know. People shrivel up like that old lady in the wheelchair in SpongeBob asking for chocolate. Sweet, sweet chocolate. I always hated it. And it never fails to say, but that's family. Never asking, why? It's always, well, blood is thicker than water, so no matter what, you just stick around with them forever. And there has been some pretty evil people in my family, and yet people still stick around with them because it's family. The most interesting complaint that is a ruffling many men's feathers, especially, are women saying, we hate Mother's Day because of you. And you men need to do better, better, better. Son of a Okay, let's pause. Take a second. <laughs> yeah, let it out. You need to shut the f let it all out. It's fine. It's healthy. Okay. Are we, are we good? So that's the problem. Some men, not all, 
some. And if you were over there throwing tables, writing me paragraphs in this section, you might be one of those men that just can't take constructive criticism at all. This is for any topic, but the topic today is Mother's Day and many women are complaining about men. Sorry, lesbian couples out there, you're not included. It's not all inclusive today or ever. I didn't see any woman complaining about their lesbian counterpart. So all I have to say is keep it up unless someone in the, in the comment section wants to complain about their lesbian partner. So let's see why this is. Why do women hate Mother's Day? And if you are a man who wants to make your woman feel special, maybe take the tips instead of writing me a paragraph in the comment section. That's not gonna help your relationship. Um, and I hate Mother's Day. I always have. It just, especially after becoming a mom myself, it feels so half-assed. It is forced. So this was a reoccurring complaint from a mass amount of moms on TikTok. Half-ass and feels forced. My dad actually did something every year for Mother's Day. Every single year. Flowers, chocolate, threw them at my mom and took her out to dinner to his favorite restaurant, Outback Steakhouse. Yep. We were all miserable when we went because we did not like spending time with my dad. All around the table, we all just looked like this waiting to leave. This ridiculous idea of expecting something special and being constantly and consistently let down. So I thought this was very interesting. I saw so many people saying, well, that's your problem. You expected something. How entitled of you. As a child-free woman, and I see so many people put emphasis on being a mother, like tons of emphasis. It's, it's the most unselfish thing you could do and special thing that you could do as a woman. Giving like people seem to you know when a woman is pregnant or say that they're trying to get pregnant people seem to respect them more they become special in fact many people have told me it's my duty to have children i've had many men say it's one of the most important things to do as a woman giving life and many of those men can't fucking get creative and at least look like they're happy to celebrate a woman that did this thing you say is so important and respectable i'm just not sure why you would not want to celebrate that on something called mother's day you don't have to go all that you don't have to spend all this money. Just get a little creative. YouTube, TikTok has so many ideas and a lot of women, as you can see, their expectations are very low. Arts and crafts and cookies. I'm guessing wine too. They would love it. I mean, as, as a child, every single Mother's Day, it was put on to me and my siblings to do something for my mom. My dad did nothing. Or if he did anything, it was very half-assed last minute. I don't remember him doing anything at least in my memory that was like super um caring or or thoughtful for my mom for for mother's day i don't remember anything see very reoccurring the thoughtfulness you know i know many of you men are going to be like i got her flower and threw it out the counter i even got her a car and I wrote a heart in it okay i'm just gonna tell you Right now, as a woman and hearing other women talk, I know that a lot of you guys go to men for certain advice, but sometimes it helps to speak uh, or listen to the side that you're trying to fuck. I'm just saying, men are out here saying that women are having more sex and they aren't, so maybe it's time to listen to me. Anyway, that situation is like the same thing as a billionaire CEO getting his wife another handbag. And the handbag's very expensive and many are probably saying, well, she should be grateful. He bought her something very expensive, but it still comes down to the effort. I've had many very high profile or just very rich wives of very high profile men when I was a personal trainer. And every Mother's Day I ask, oh, what did you guys do? Expecting it to just be glamorous. You know, this really well thought out thing because you would think these men have money so then they can do like all these creative things things and it's literally they buy them a handbag and that's it. Many people just in relationships in general want to see effort and when it comes to being a good parent which is hard you are doing what? Putting a lot of effort into this whole thing called parenting this lifelong commitment and as someone who doesn't have kids from the outside looking in it would probably be nice for the people that are celebrating the certain parent this goes for Mother's Day or Father's Day to put in some type of effort you know just for one day just saying that's the critique from the girlies okay i'm kind of about to call out all men sort of so if that's gonna trigger you or bother you move along stick around if you want to be bothered this one was interesting an ex-mormon went viral for putting her husband on blast tears and everything because all the women in her family were the ones planning mother's day activities and the men did absolutely nothing so mother's day is coming up on sunday and i'm a mom of one-year-old twin girls my older sister is a mom my mother is the mother of us two and our two other siblings and I was FaceTiming my mom and sisters last
last night and we are planning Mother's Day dinner. So we're deciding what we're gonna eat, what time it's going to be. I'm bringing a food assignment, my sister's bringing a food assignment, my mom's preparing the main meal. Why is it this way? Why can men not be better than this? She goes on to saying that she loves her husband and he really does try. As Mormons, they've been through certain things growing up and they both are breaking away from these traditional ways of thinking, but she thinks that he needs to do a lot better. She then goes on and says, other women have to be responsible for women when men don't step up to make them feel special. And I just feel so frustrated right now because I feel like not only do women bear so much more of the emotional labor Women also have to bear the emotional labor on behalf of other women when their men in their lives don't show up for them, right? So like, I know if my stepdad doesn't do something for my mom for Mother's Day, I have to step in and do something even more because he's not like taking care of her. And my mom knows if my husband's gonna drop the ball on Mother's Day, then she wants to like take care of me because we want to take care of each other and we want each other to be happy. <laughs> and it's so frustrating to me, like, I know that men, I'm not saying they're bad or like not trying, but like, it just upsets me that it's this way. Her being Mormon or ex-Mormon, I mean, and I'm guessing her family is still into the practice or most of them are. But I thought it was super interesting that in the Mormon community, a community that really values having children, really pushes having children and motherhood, wouldn't put in an effort to celebrate something so important. You need the woman to have the child. Shouldn't you be praising the right? It's like the portal of life. Like I said, I observe a lot. Oh yeah, I'm watching you married people, you mothers, you fathers, especially the people that say it's so important to have children, that everyone should have children. And it's usually the people that really emphasize how important it is to have children, saying that Mother's Day isn't even a big deal. Okay, if it's not that big of a deal, then it shouldn't be a big deal to do something a little special, right? I like to listen to my friends. Like I said, this isn't my community, obviously, but I like to listen to my friends who vent about, you know, being a mom. You guys, there's a whole community on TikTok. I listen to so many of these stories and something that many of the new moms tend to figure out after the kids are born, no one gives a shit about the mom anymore. Like you become a mom and then suddenly you're like pushed out, go find your mommy and me group, go figure it out on your own. Um, and we'll see you when you can be productive again. So after a mom gives birth, sometimes they often get forgotten. Everyone's very excited about the baby and that's understandable, but the mom has also gone through a physical trauma. <laughs> Everyone was all up their ass cheeks and business, making sure that she did her duty as a woman to bear a child. And after that, left her high and dry, cast aside, forgotten. The story is over, baby is here, good luck. Anyway, about the Mormon chick, many people are saying, why aren't you talking about this to your husband? And of course the people who are saying, divorce, divorce him, that's it, just leave. I was worried people would make really large assumptions about myself and my husband and my marriage, and that has definitely been the case. There are people telling me my marriage is a sham, my husband's a terrible person, I'm delusional and stupid, and I enable this bad behavior, I should get a divorce. It's not fun, but I think the really sad thing to me about that is those comments are why women feel the need to maintain a facade of perfection around their relationships. Because if they do open up about these really significant issues and major points of dysfunction, that is what a lot of people are going to say to them. And to be fair, I was definitely one of those people who said, your husband sucks, leave him. Which is why I don't share really much about my romantic relationships. Me and my boyfriend could have been broken up 83 times, married and then divorced and back together. And y'all would not know anything. You will not catch me on TikTok crying about it. I hope, knock on that. And this is why people aren't in this relationship. So we only go off this one thing where we see this cute girl crying on the internet about her husband that didn't do shit for her on Mother's Day. And apparently none of the men in the family do anything for the women on Mother's Day. And then she went and mentioned Mormonism. Is that right? Mormon? Being a Mormon? And you know people have certain ideas about that. Sister Rives did not help you guys out at all. But I do have to agree with her though. Publicly talking about these things makes other people not want to talk about it. And then many people feel secluded and that they're doing this alone and no one else you know feels this way but if you go through the comments there's just women relating to something just as little as mother's day and they're dreading it hating it cry about it and it could be fixed with some communication and effort from the other party and you know what her complaining and crying on tiktok worked because now her and her husband are dancing on tiktok together Tell it what you mean i take it offensive because i'm the hottest flower
problem. Called out this man on the internet yesterday, but he took me on a date night and did a fit check with me anyway. So I guess in TikTok land, things are all good. Sometimes public humiliation works. Just kidding. I mean, sometimes it does because I know someone out there is saying she should have spoke to him in private. This is a private matter. Speak to him. And from someone who is a very private person, I agree. But also let me ask how many times have you asked your husband or significant other to do something and it still hasn't gotten done? My mom went through that constantly asking my dad to eat better for his health, like he was a very unhealthy person. Then the divorce came around 30 years later and then he says, no, 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 I'll do it. I swear I'll take care of myself. Personally for me, I'm not patient. I believe I should be treated a certain way and I know the way that I want to be treated and I know the way that I should be treating a man. I like to be not worshipped, that's weird in my opinion, but listened to, respected, excited to see me, maybe even obsessed with me, like down to my big toe type energy. Or I'll just leave. I don't need to take to TikTok. I take to discussion and if it's not fixed, I take to leaving. I am perfectly capable of planning my own dates without the constant disappointment. I don't think there's anything wrong with being single if you're not getting treated the way that you want to be treated. But what is your opinion on this? Do you love Mother's Day? Do you hate Mother's Day? Does your husband and kids do anything special for you, men? What did you do today? Wow! This video was more than 15 minutes long. You had time to at least write out a card or something. Are you still one of those guys that are like, it's Mother's Day, it's not a big deal. She doesn't care about it. Good luck with that. I think your wife would be so excited if you did or planned something so unique and you really put your heart in it. I'm one of those women who are like, I don't need anything for Valentine's Day. <laughs> Dumb holiday. And then every year Garrett does something and I'm like, evil heart just fluttering. Shoot, I don't even have kids, I have dogs. And he still does something for me for Mother's Day. Nothing crazy, just something cute and thoughtful. It really is the thought and the effort. Now. You take that information and do whatever you want. Either write me a whole angry paragraph about how women ain't shit or tend to your own relationship. You choose. I like lace and I like braids, but I love my natural edges laid from the east side. Building on the west coast. My high tolerance for pain don't mean I'ma take you. All them fake followers ain't gonna Sign, but all the elements living free in my mind. Yeah.